ChatGPT Vision is one of the coolest advancements in AI that I've seen in a while. And I made a video about a week ago going over a bunch of different use cases that it can be used for. It can read what's in diagrams, it can look at street signs and figure out if you can park there. It can take a drawing of a website and convert it into code. It's pretty incredible, but I don't actually have access to it yet. I have ChatGPT Plus and I'm still waiting. I don't know when I'm gonna get it. But what if I told you, you could have ChatGPT Vision, but it's completely open source, free and available right now. That's what you get with the project Lava. It is absolutely comparable to ChatGPT Vision. It is extremely good. And today, I'm gonna show you how to install it and then I'm gonna show you how to use it. Let's go. So first, this is the research paper that kicked it all off, Visual Instruction Tuning. And if we click into it, it's by these four people out of the University of Wisconsin-Madison, Microsoft Research, and Columbia University. But this video isn't about the research paper, but I do encourage you to check it out. I'll drop a link in the description below. And Here's the actual project, the GitHub code, Lava, Large Language and Vision Assistant. And it uses a fine-tuned version of the Llama 2 model. So again, all of this is open source and free and it works really well. And just in case you don't believe me, here's an example of it working. So I uploaded a diagram of a cell and I asked, what is it? And then I asked it to define all of the different terms in that image. And it did so perfectly. Now I spent the last few hours getting this to work. I first tried it on my Windows machine and realized that some of the dependencies require Linux. Then I tried to get it working on my Mac and realized I needed CUDA, which requires a GPU. So you need a Linux machine to get this working. And thus I'm gonna show you how to use it on RunPod because they run Linux machines with beefy graphics cards. You can definitely get this working completely locally and completely for free if you have a Linux machine. And if you have WSL on Windows, you could probably get this working also. If you wanna see me create a tutorial using WSL, let me know in the comments below. So if you don't already have a RunPod account, go ahead and sign up. Once you do, log in and this is the screen you're gonna be met with. Then you click over here to secure cloud and we're gonna choose the RTX A6000 as our GPU. It's 79 cents an hour. You could probably get away with an even smaller GPU because honestly, these models run blazingly fast. And again, it's based on the Llama 2 13B model. So it is a pretty small model. So we're going to go ahead and click deploy right there. And before we deploy it, we're going to click this customize deployment button. And right here, rather than 20 gigabytes of container disk temporary, we're going to change that to 100 because we do need to download these models. And for the ports that we're going to expose, let's change this to 3000. Once you do that, go ahead and click set overrides and then continue and then deploy. And then it's going to take just a couple minutes to get those deployed. Soon after a few seconds, it'll drop you on this screen. You can click this drop down and watch the server deploy. Now we're going to be doing everything through the command line. So it's a little bit technical, but I'm going to walk you through everything step by step. I'm also going to drop a gist of all of the instructions that I'm giving you in the description below. So you can just copy paste it there. Now it's done. Then we're going to click connect right here. Then we click click start web terminal and then connect to web terminal. Once we're here, we're going to download the project. So git clone and then the URL. Switching back to the Lava GitHub page, if you want that URL, you click this little green code button and then you click copy right there. Now back to the run pod command line, we're just going to hit enter. Once that's done, we're going to CD into that new folder. So CD Lava. Then we're gonna make sure we have the latest version of pip. So pip install dash dash upgrade pip. Then we're gonna install torch. So pip install torch. And then we're gonna install all the other requirements. So pip install dash e and then period. Okay, now that that's done, the next thing we're gonna do is spin up the controller. So python3 dash m lava.serve.controller dash dash host. And then we put 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 dash dash port. 10,000 and then hit enter. Now we see that it's up and running, perfect. Now we need another instance of the Linux command line. So switch back to run pod and you're gonna click connect to web terminal again. Okay, next we're gonna CD back into lava and then we're gonna run this command. So basically what this does is it spins up a model worker which will also download the model. So the first time you run this, it will take a little while. I think it's about 20 plus gigabytes of model storage needed. I'm not gonna read this whole thing off. I'll just include it in the gist which is gonna be in the description below hit enter, and there it goes. So now we can see that it's downloading the model. Now you see these errors on every single line. 
that can just be ignored. Maybe it's possible that they just use the wrong log level, I'm not sure. And once this is done downloading, this is also the server that's gonna be serving the model. So you do need to leave it open. So we're gonna have the controller, we're gonna have the model, and we're gonna have the Gradio servers running. Okay, now it's done and it's loading the checkpoint shards, which means it's just loading the model. Now it's downloading something else. Okay, there it is, it's working. And we have Uvicorn running on port 40,000. So we have the controller up, we have the model up. Now switching back to RunPod, we need one more terminal. Open that up. Again, we're gonna CD into lava. Then we're gonna run these two commands, export Gradio server name, and then we put the local host, and then the port as 3000, and then hit enter. Now it's gonna be listening to that port. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is spin up the Gradio web server. So we do python 3 m lavaserve.gradio web server, dash dash controller, then local host, and we wanna make sure that the local host is on port 10,000, and then dash dash model dash tier dash mode, space reload, hit enter. Okay, here it is, looks good to go. So let's switch back to RunPod. And then we're gonna click this port 3000 button right here. And there we go, we have it all loaded up. So we have the model name right here in this dropdown. And let's use an example image. So if we click this, here's the image. What is unusual about this image? Send. The unusual aspect of this image is that a man is ironing clothes while standing on the back of a moving car. This is not a typical scene as ironing clothes is usually done indoors in a more controlled environment. So there you go. Now you have a completely free, completely open source chat GPT vision alternative. Now, of course I'm paying for RunPod, but you can definitely get this installed on your local machine if you have Linux. And I believe they're working on Windows and Mac versions. There's a Mac fork that's out there. I tried to use it, but I couldn't get it to work. And they do mention Apple Silicon in the documentation, although I couldn't get it to work either. Let's try another image. So I've uploaded this image that I had on my computer and this is a cell, a human cell. And what we're gonna say is, what is this image about? Define all of the terms listed in this image. Send. The image is a detailed illustration of a cell, showcasing its various components and functions. And there it is. All of the different terms and parts of a cell listed out and defined. And if we look at the original image, it doesn't say what any of these terms are, so it actually can read the image and defines the terms for us. Now, one mistake that I see is that it got in an infinite loop and it continued to list all of them over and over again. So it's not quite perfect, but I'm sure it's gonna get better very quickly. And so that's all I'm gonna show you in terms of examples. You see that it works. It works really well. I've tested it with a few examples, but this video isn't about testing the limits of this model. If you wanna see that video and you want me to push the limits of the Lava model, let me know in the comments below. Now you know how to do it. This is so cool. And if you don't wanna go through the process of setting it up on your local machine and you don't wanna set it up on RunPod, there's a demo which you can use. And and it's absolutely free. I'll drop a link to this demo in the description below. And I wanna really thank Ashley K, who helped me take this across the finish line and get the Gradio piece up and running. So thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me and getting this working. And right after I finished recording this video, Ashley K created a one-click template for RunPod. And I'll drop that link in the description below and it has his affiliate link. So thanks again to Ashley K. If you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.